Hey guys, welcome back to the Mini Fez channel. I'm joined here by uh, Ben Lawrence, who got top top eight with, with voiceless. The only voiceless in top eight. Yes, that was a lot of pure snake eyes. Um, but yes, it was yes. Uh, it was a good event though. All yeah. right, want to talk through your deck? Yeah, the um the main list is fairly standard. Um, so. Two Skull Guardian, I uh, don't really need more than two, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, two Saravis. Um, I was originally playing the, um, the Odd Eyes card, but I decided to go with this instead just because the amount of sort of like Imperms, also people that on Veilers and stuff as well. Um, which kind of worked out as well because there are a lot of people like in the Pure Snake Eye deck that have more space for non engine, and I faced uh, three of those in the tournament. Mm. Um, so uh, seeing this was really important. Um, but yeah, so I also insert it off of pre prep as well, it's pretty good. Um, yeah. So that's all the rituals. And then main engine, uh, triple low, mm -hmm. heart and soul of the deck, really. Of course, of course. Um, Sephira, another cracking card. Like, even if they Ash and Bell this, because most people Ash and Bell this, right? It's still in the grave uh, for the ritual. So you can then, um, you know, banish ritual summon. Uh, this is going to the full tribute. Or you can, like, use like, the beers and stuff in hand and stuff as well. So it's. um. Yeah, it's quite flexible. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Also, add from Grave as well. Which is pretty yeah. Cool. Uh, then, Old Man. Old Man's pretty cool um, as well. So, well. You can actually outplay the opponent quite a lot with this card as well. Um, if you can go for low with the trap, which is I was doing pretty much every game. Mm -hmm. um, you can put this on board, swap it out for the Saravis to then stop a Link Summon, which is really good against the Fire King deck. Yeah. Um, but also as well. Um, in one of my matches against Manadium, I didn't expect it, but I returned this to my hands and actually summoned the, the Skull Guardian and of course low triggers from Grave. I slam him under gate back and yeah, he just yeah. he just couldn't do anything about it. That's so it's crass. um yeah, it's crazy. And also um in hand it can recycle um losses as well. Um summon itself. But yeah, it's pretty good. Uh then Divine of the Herald plus the Trius. Um Divine is really good. Um not only can it just um send a Trius and then Try as tribute to get the low. It can also um, send Entis from extra deck, uh, which has come up a lot to sort of help break boards if I already have low in hand in the ritual spell. Like I have this on like uh, pre prep. Yeah. Um, also, so you can also, um, when you ritual summon, you can exceed the level as well. So, like, say if they've impermed this, um, mm -hmm. use ritual spell, get rid of this and like a nib or anything else, some of this light. Um, summon your ritual guy, this can then summon a low. So yeah. you're back with a board anyway, so um, it's actually not that bad. It's pretty good. But yeah. Um, and in testing as well, um, if you have this and nib, and have nothing else, you kind of bricked and they've impermed you, um, if they play into it, you nib them, you then get to uh, low, low get the trap. Yeah. And if you have a ritual spell or a ritual monster, uh, you then can well, do full combo, you can get to negate and stuff, so it's um, pretty good. Uh, but yeah. Uh, hand traps, three nib, um, crazy all day. Uh, I would never. I wouldn't take this out at the moment. It's so good. Um, even sometimes on my own turn as well, um, just because of how much like the fire uh, fist deck can actually play. Like, fire king deck. Can actually play into um, like play on your turn. It, it's actually crazy. Um, it's very good. And it's a light high level for your rituals. Yeah. Um, Droll. Uh, Droll was okay. Um, yeah, it came off in, like the mirror and that, but it was um, it was all right. Uh, I could potentially take that out. Um, not sure what for yet. Potentially Ashes, but I'm not sure. Um, now onto the best card of the day, onto spells oh. as well. Um, uh, main deck triple super poly. Um, put in so much work, um, going first and second. Because um, even like, if I have a, like, a hand trap and super poly, it helps break the boards. Um, also, I just push for damage really hard as well because the um, skull, uh, Guardian's got 4 1. And you sound like a Garura, that's already, you're pushing um, over 7k. Yeah. So it's, um, it's hard for them to come back. And um, yeah, so it's cracking cards. Um, then Voiceless Spells, uh, Continuous Spells, crazy. Yeah. Uh, same with this, I can play around Super Poly mm -hmm. as well. It's, um, yeah, it's really good. People just don't expect it as well. Again, if, if Lowe's chilling in Grave and you summon the guy, Lowe comes back, so they have the trap, and it's like, I have to deal with that and the Zaravis. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, triple pre prep, fairly standard. Mm -hmm. uh, prosp, yeah. Prosp, um, prosp, prosp is really good. It's better than extra, I'd say, because you can dig for the low. Um, it's quite obvious you want to have low in your hand. Um, so, uh, so yeah, digging for low exactly is, is better than just the raw card advantage. Um, and quite often you're adding so many cards anyway, you add, add like extra cards in your combo. Um, so having extra cards doesn't matter too much. Um, 
yeah. Um, then cool buy, crazy this format. Yeah. Recommend playing it. Really good. Um, yeah, uh, trap cards, super super good. Um, I, I probably wouldn't play more than one. Um, although it's tempting because it's so good. Um, you mostly use it for the summon effect. Um, yeah, it just helps you sort of just play and con continue surviving as well. Like there have been times where I s actually summon this Ephira off of this and link it away. So I have a ritual uh, live as well if I've already gone for other effects. Um, some pretty goods. And then, and yeah. It's the main deck. Good card. Uh, extra. Extra, yep. Uh, two Dynamondo. I actually didn't summon this at all today. Um, <laughs> despite it being sort of like, I was like, oh, you know, play Dynamondo, it's great, you know, and what's up, play it, right? Yeah. But, um, it's really risky to make it because of people. Loads of people are siding in Bell, yeah. um, and also Crow. Um, yeah. But it's just uh, a, a risky line, isn't it? Yeah. So like, um, if I want to find space in extra, I'll continue consider cutting one. Um, it's nice on the grind for recycling your rit your ritual resources, but it's um, it didn't come up much today anyway. Yeah. But yeah. Um, SP crazy. Um, liner. It's, there were times it could have came up. But I already had enough stuff, um, <laughs> basically. Um, I played the mirror. Actually, it came up in my game against Centurion, actually. Uh, I um, took their big guy, and the big guy triggers when you special it. Yeah. So I, I popped their guy, drew one, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, it was all right. Anima, yep. yep. Kind of good. Um, I wasn't playing Linker Rebo. Uh, okay. I didn't feel the need for it, because um, like, I'm not playing Dark Charm up either. Um, that may change. Uh, but uh, the anima's enough. Like I don't need to be stopping them attacking me usually. Um, yeah. And like if I just end on like a Linker Rebo, that's not enough to <laughs> do anything, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, it was alright. Uh, it came up a little bit, but I was playing um, Azalea. Okay. Uh, just needs um, lights or darks to summon, and all darks. Um, and basically, it's a free pop on the field. Yeah. Um, if you don't have spells engraved, so you need to have. Uh, uh, more than three spells in grave, then it'll stick around. Yeah. Then if it battles anything, it kills it. Yeah. Um, but uh, it was more useful just like, if I'm playing for a board, yeah. like I had, uh, I had like Phantasmia on my side, I had like a board of like uh, Nibiru Phantasmia, I was pushing through a, a Snake Eye board. Um, I, I made this at the end, after making like SP and stuff, and this helped crack it. Yeah. So it was, it actually came up, it's not bad. Um, yeah. Uh, Kill Angel was crazy. Um, of course. Yeah, of course. You know, Diviner um, uh, makes you to try us and low. Let's get to this. Yeah. Um, pretty good. Also, it's a high level tribute for um, your rituals if you need to. Yeah. Um, Herald never came up, but it's good to have. It's a send off of the um, Diviner. Uh, Typhon. Yeah. It's Typhon. I would definitely recommend playing it. Um, <laughs> good card. Yeah. Uh, and Super Poly targets. It was uh, Golem. Okay. Uh, Starling Venom, then the two classics. Of course. Um, these didn't come up today, they came up in testing. Um, I was mostly summoning these two. Uh, this is great into Fire King, of course, if I target your cards, and this pushes the damage. So it's, um, yeah, it's been alright. And then Entis. Yeah. And uh, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon uh, to summon off of the, um, in the side of the Pendulum Graph Dragon. Yeah, yeah. It never came up, it was mostly because of Frost. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's there. Um, yeah, it's there. I think the issue is, is oh, I'll just get him out now, because he's in my side deck. Um, he's in the side. Um, so you can negate a spell, and then you can summon an Odd Eyes from your extra deck. Yeah. This can, in theory, bounce a guy, yeah. but usually when you're negating spells, it's before they have cut monsters on board. Um, so it doesn't come up that much, and um, I didn't really, um, I only put this in against a couple, uh, and I put it in the mirror. Mm. I put it in the mirror, it was, it was one game in the mirror. But um, besides that, um, yeah, it didn't come up much. But yeah. Uh, then, rest of the side, triple ash. Yep. May come back into the main, it's a bit dodgy because of all the fire decks running around, but it's still, it's still cracking, so um, yeah. yeah, I'll review that. <laughs> that was really good though. <laughs> Um, Bell was cracking as well, um, especially in the mirror. Like, put these both in, in the mirror, and like, if you open both of these as well, and like, and you have a way to start, they're not playing. Um, so, that's really good. Uh, two Phantasme. Uh, it came up, yeah, quite a lot as well. Also, going second as well, because um, it's when they special summon a link monster, not when they link summon. Um, so, when you're breaking the ball and they, you know, summon back. Um, uh, like Princess, you can summon this. Yeah. Refresh your hand, help unbrick. It's also a level 7 for your um, Ritual Fodder too. Yeah. Uh, Cosmic, crazy. Of course. And then, best card on the side deck. 
That's lovely why, you know, he's, uh, <laughs> Honestly, establishing this with the negate is uh, a bit too good. But yeah. yeah. All right. Any shout outs? Yeah, so shout outs first and foremost to Reroll Board Game Cafe. Re can't speak. Reroll <laughs> Board Game Cafe in Leicester. Um, yeah, yeah. Great locals, recommend checking it out. Uh, also to my boys, uh, we've got Jacob, uh, Nero, Brad, um, everyone else from Leicester as well. Um, yeah, shout out to my, my wife as well. Uh, okay. She's coming over from Japan soon. But um, yeah, yeah, be good. Uh, thank right. you for the Thank you for coming on. Cheers.